All right, this is going to be a video on the Craftsman LT. Sorry, motorcycle going by. The LT2000 Craftsman riding lawnmower. Um, we have a little issue here. When you turn the key, the motor turns over really fast, but it stops on compression, and then it takes a while for it to turn. I'll show you guys what it's doing. So anyway, this is going to be a video on how to adjust the valves right here, the overhead valves on, on most uh, uh, single cylinder Briggs and Stratton motors. Uh, this is an 18.5, but this goes for, I think, 12 and a half up to about 21 horsepower single cylinder motors with the overhead valve. If you have the overhead valve, this will go for pretty much all of those. We're going to adjust the valves on it, and hopefully that will cure the problem of why it's turning over really fast and then it goes slow. So I'll show you what it's doing. So you turn the key. Okay, now it's turning fast. As you can see, it's wanting to turn slow, and then it stops. See how it does that? And I got the key on all the way. So it did turn over for a minute, but that's telling me probably most likely the valves need to be adjusted. After, you know, a long time of running these things, you don't adjust the valves every once in a while going to cause it to have that kind of issue now there is a couple other issues that could cause the same problem you could either have a bad battery you can have a bad starter or your compression release internal inside the motor it runs on the cam is broken now the first thing to check obviously is going to be the valves it's it's the closest thing uh, we adjust the valve see if that fixes the problem I know I have a good battery in here so that's not the problem so we're gonna go ahead and rule that one out now my starter here you can fill it it turns nice and freely it's it's actually looks like somebody put a brand new one on here at one time but it turns really nicely if you're turning this thing and you can feel it like get stuck there's magnets inside here and sometimes the magnets fall off and then they stick uh, to the starter um, and then so I could tell that this turns really nicely and freely there's nothing wrong with the starter so I'm gonna rule that one out so the only two things that we have to figure out is it's either the valves or it's the compression release inside the motor, which I don't think it's that. So we're going to go ahead and check the valves and I'm going to show you guys how to adjust them. Okay, so what we got here is I have my drill with a 3 8 socket and then I have a, what is this, a T20 Torx bit um, little deal here. Um, with the for the for, to adjust the valves and then I also have a feeler gauge here and I'm going to be using the four thousands I believe it's a four thousands is what I, this thing's all worn out so I can't really tell but this is the one I always use to adjust the valves um, I think the intake's supposed to be like four thousands and the exhaust is supposed to be like six but I put them both at four never had any issues so I'm gonna do the four thousands and I'll show you guys how to do that Okay, so what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to want to get this little uh, ignition coil out of the way. There's a lot of dirt and stuff. Sometimes the best thing to do is to go ahead and pressure spray all this shit off of here. So you don't get any dirt in your thing. It's going to be all right. I'll take it off real nice and easy. So go ahead and remove the, the 438 screws, bolt, sorry. Also forgot one thing. A little bit of oil likes to dump out from the bottom so what I do is take a little rag and just kind of pin it up underneath the bottom so if any oil drops it just falls right down onto the rag instead of on your uh, all over your muffler go ahead and remove all four bolts set those aside and this should just come off just like that go ahead and don't let any dirt get in there go ahead and set that aside and here we got the valves. I could see right off the back they're already super loose. This one's tight. This one is really loose. It's actually almost getting ready to just fall off. So we'll go ahead and adjust those. All right. So we're going to check the compression release and we're going to see if hopefully the camera can catch it. Maybe I could try to zoom in as close as I can. So let's turn this around. Now you got your valves moving. So you got your exhaust and your intake. Now, we're turning the motor over on here. 
you got your exhaust going down and then you have your intake is now starting to starting to go in and then when it comes back up you're going to see it just slightly just move back it's going to push the, the valve in just a hair let's we'll see if you could catch that on video now it's all the way up and then you could see it moving slightly right there at that point it's just popping right up it's going up and down that's the compression release so we know internal in the motor see right before it comes up here it comes up, it's going to push down here. You can catch that little movement. That's how you know the compression release is working internal of the motor. So we know that our valves need to be adjusted and should cure the whole entire problem. So let's go ahead and adjust the valves. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to turn the motor over. Whatever one goes down first, the exhaust is going all the way down. You want it to be about all the way down as far as it goes in. Then we are going to adjust the intake valve. So now we will release the T20 Torx bit little bolt in here. We'll go ahead and loosen that up a hair. And now you can grab this outer bolt and you can use this to adjust it. Um, you could put a wrench on there. I think it's about a, a, a half, but it, it never needs it whenever I do it. So you take your 4000s feeler gauge, you go ahead and put it in there. What you want it to be is like not loose. You don't want it to just slide in really easy. You want to slowly turn this with your finger until you get it snug so that it almost it almost hangs there, but it can still pull out. So just slightly have some resistance there. Go ahead and tighten it a little bit more. I think we're about right there is about good. It's kind of like almost like you could feel it scratching, but it's butted up against, you know, the rocker arm and, and the... Uh, the valve so then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tighten the torx bit back or the torx uh, bolt back down get a nice good tighten down and we'll go ahead and let the intake go all the way in as far as it can go before it comes up and then we will come over here to our exhaust side unloosen the nut in the middle and now you can have you know movement on this outer bolt so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do the same thing like we did with that one. We want some resistance, but we don't want it too tight. We don't want it too loose. Just enough to slide in and kind of enough where it'll hang. You can see how it's hanging there, but yet I could still move in between it. And we'll go ahead and tighten that back up real good. If your bolt on the outside is starting to move around when you're trying to do this, you might want to put a, a half inch wrench uh, on it and then tighten this bad boy down. So now we got both of them adjusted. We'll go ahead and put the cover back on. Go ahead and tighten everything back down real good. Give it a little snug. Now we know it's really tight. And we should be good. Now let's go ahead and put the cover back on. And we'll see if this motor turns over. Go ahead and snug it down just a hair. Not too tight. Don't want to strip anything. Not too tight. I lost them. Okay, now we got our bolts tightened up on the on the uh, the valve cover. They're snug down. Valves are adjusted. Let's go ahead and see what this bad boy does. And now it turns over really good. No issue. So we know. Definitely was the valves, they're adjusted correctly. So that's the first fire that we've had since I got this tractor. So motor's good, strong,